Sagittarius, welcome. It's your end of November heart spread read. This is a reading for the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. We've already shuffled, guys. Using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck today. Um, this is uh, not necessarily the one you're with. It's the one that's most uh, on your mind, most in your heart. Um, I'll put a little energy on it here. Um, always on um, Fridays is uh, Sagittarius Capricorn Day. I'm Sagittarius. Full disclosure, uh, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. <laughs> Loaded up for Sag in the fourth house of the Cancer Moon. So, um, I do look at astrology too. <clears throat> think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who give me a like, thumbs up if you like these readings. Uh, if you want to be supportive, um, you can make donations. Uh, if you could just find somewhere to post it, we think it might be relevant or welcome. Um, and yeah, any kind of social platform. Share it, you know, get it, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend type of deal, it'd be cool. My fellow Saggies, I waited for years to say that, it's not as satisfying as I thought it would be, like so many things said, boy, I gotta keep moving on. Sag is the energy of over there, I'm in Cancun, Mexico, it's been a fucked up day. I started out in a hoodie and sweatpants, I, I haven't been to hoodie and sweatpants for like a year, I'm in Mexico, you know, for almost two years, and, uh, and now it's kind of hot, so... Uh, but the, uh, the weather's been amazing. I can't really complain. I did get, I got forced off of the outdoor studio in the back because it's so much rain. But still, uh, really peaceful and beautiful. So let's look at your energy here, Sag. Um, this is where you're at in the round relationships, where your mind is at, where your heart is at here. Um, Ten of Wands. Um, I try to separate this from the energy of the relationship that we're talking about that's on your mind. Um, so you would have been in the past carrying a lot of uh, burdens in and around relationships. So you would have been the one that did 90% in the relationship, maybe have a history of that type deal. Um, you're the you know one that gives too much, that loves too much. Uh, sun, uh, conjunct, and conjunct, work, um, moon energy, which I have. I know that one. Now, interesting, you're coming to a Ten of uh, Pentacles person here. This is where they're at in terms of love and relationship. Now, I mean, this is a relatively terrible energy to carry into a relationship because you're literally like carrying this burden, you know, into the relationship, you know. The only good thing is like you're ready to put it down. You just kind of got to be careful where you put it down. You don't want to put it down on this person normally. But it's not an accident that you come with a burden with ten of wands, ten things burdening you. And this person is just solid as can be. You know, ten of uh, pentacles, and they might as well be like the king of pentacles here. Um, the ten of pentacles is personal. This person, you know, weren't handed money. This person worked hard, made good choices, uh, saved their money, etc. And um, <clears throat> to get where they are. And I think when I see this as a relationship, it's a karmic, it's soul. And you know, a lot of people might think this codependent bullshit, you know. This is how we grow and learn through relationships. And we have karmic ties, and karmic uh, missions, karmic contracts that are made, you know, before we're here, David, you know, our soul here, which is really what's doing the work. And you guys are matching here. I would just, you know, it very most likely you probably see it in your uh, synastry charts, you know, astrology too loves synastry. This is the first house, this is your seventh house, it's the projection of your anima animus. You know, but there's some kind of karmic connection here. Essentially they owe you one. And I don't, I don't really look at the debts, you know, like money. It's energy balancing, and you know? it's like you guys need to come together, and they need to do you a solid, and this is a big solid. This is a big song that this person does you, and it, it's financial. And look at the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, my favorite card, the Jim Morrison, King of Cups. This looks like Jim Morrison from the doors to me. I don't know, that's the most mellow king. So I got the feeling, this may reflect a little bit how your person is, you know? Um, you know, they're, I, I'm gonna tell you guys, I mean, this is like somebody helping you out here, honestly. You know, they're just like, this is someone like, you know, I really love you, and money is, what the fuck is money? I got plenty of it. Uh, oh, you, let's pay off the car. Let's pay, I don't even have a car, it's not me. <laughs> but, you know, let's pay off the car. Oh, man, you know, taxes on the house, let's pay that off. You know, what else is burdening you? What else is on your mind? Let's clear this up, you know? It's nothing. 
you can believe what you want, but I believe that that's some kind of energy balance in there that goes on. Now, and then you, how you guys interact after that is after the karmic energy is not necessarily cleared, but it's balanced in some way, and then you interact. Now you're uh, creating your uh, new karma, good or bad, inner different, and that's not always bad karma. So um, this is you, Page of Swords. Wow. So in terms of you, look look at how it's kind of looking down. It's like a young girl. It's a male or a female. It doesn't matter. But kind of looking down, looking back. This is the word coy. C-O-Y. Okay. Somebody is being coy as fuck here. And I, I got to say, Sag, it's a little bit like um, um, like you're maybe being deliberate about it, you know. It's like, this is like sending a message, the way she's looking back, you know, uh, that's kind of like um, a double entendre, you know, but not, not necessarily sexual, like maybe something that it could, could be, this could, you could be sending a mixed message, mess, a mixed message Sage, to the, your person here, who, you know, I was about to call them your benefactor, <laughs> but now how they're interacting to you, it's very strange here. You know, indifference emotionally. And this is their feelings about you. You're acting coy, and they're like, okay, well, buggy then. <laughs> you know, uh, God bless them, because that's how I would act, you know, towards someone that was acting coy with me. You know, I'm very direct. Sagittarius, Venus, and Scorpio. Um, so it's like if somebody uh, doesn't bring that energy to me, I don't, you know, I don't even hit the ball back. I just grab the, uh, the tennis ball and, and leave the course. You know, uh, I will keep trying to bat it back. And it's kind of get that feeling with your person here. Makes sense. I mean, they're really solid. They're like, you know, look, I just did you this huge favor. And, you know, um, I don't know who you think you're dealing with here, but I'm the I'm the Ten of Pentacles, damn it. Um, and, you know, uh, I don't take well to being um, kind of ignored or that kind of thing. Now, this is your energy, Sag. This is kind of important. Uh, advice from spirit for you in this relationship with this person and the fact that this is coming under the page of swords it all kinds of means that you need to get your shit together here Sag and uh, you need to start talking to them in an adult way with respect um, you could almost say since this is advice from spirit towards them I mean it's two things you making a really strong sincere mature you know solid um, um, apology, probably conversation with this person. I'm getting it, okay. Um, and also, it's kind of respecting the Queen of Swords part of them, because there's a part of them I think that's just no nonsense, you know, uh, kind of thing. And you're kind of like saying, it would be like saying, hey, I know I kind of jerked you around. Here's why I'm sorry. Can we start again, or let me explain it, or something like this, okay? Um, I think there's some coolness here somewhere. I've mean, got this Jim Morrison King of Cups in the background here. Now, you're going to do this, and they're going to have to think about it because they really don't know. You've got the Four of Cups, and now you got the Seven of Cups. It ain't over yet, Sag, with this person because now you got them. Now you got them. They're thinking. They're like wondering. They're like, maybe I made a hasty decision, Sag. They're wondering if there's a cross watcher. Comment. Tell me what you think. Um, they're thinking, uh, I don't know, I got to think about this some more. I'm not really sure what I want. I thought I didn't want them. It's not so much, you know, I thought I wanted them, but I don't. It's like I thought I didn't want them, but now I think maybe I do. And the advice from Spirit is to really consider this, you know. Um, in fact, I want to clarify that card, Spirit, so I'm 100% clear myself. And look, Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is pointing towards a relationship. Advice from spirit is to very is consider this carefully and intellectually, you know, mind over heart. Honestly, I think is what needs to come in because you're kind of buried in emotions here. Uh, this is for the cross watcher now, um, and you may need a friend here to help you uh, sort through this. Someone knows you well, not this, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, um, Sagittarius we're talking about here. Um, because I think your advice from spirit is you need to open up your heart and, you know, give your cup to the Sagittarius. Uh, because, you know, Sagittarius, I'm a Sagittarius, we're honest, we're not going to bullshit you. 
And we might, I mean, Sagittarius, especially women, I don't know whether you more than men. There are not many ones that could be like, you know, you know, a woman from Empanada or something. You just give them the cold shoulder and that's that. Um, uh, but we're also, if we make an apology, it's sincere and real. So you could definitely come in and be the Queen of Pentacles, which since that is advice from spirit, it has the ability to set this right with this person. That's what you want to do, Sag. To be clear, you could set this right. The power's in your hands, not as a page, but as a queen. Coming in, meeting them as a queen. And there's a possibility if you do that, for them, it'll be like cutting through the confusion with your sword here, with thoughts for them. And they get clarity, and they end up out of that, then offering you their cup of love. And um, this is a, this, you know, page of cups, you could be like, you know, I, I, now that I've thought about it, I, I can't help. I just want to be with you. I'm in love with you. It could end up being, I love you, out of that, okay, somehow. I've never seen a card so important, like how you approach them, what you say to them, think, uh, you know, logical uh, to them, and try to think like how, what are they, because they're a lot in their fields. Whatever went on, the way you rebuffed them, really got them shook up. Um, so, you know, kind of try to look at from their point of view, not to be manipulative, but to try to reach them and understand their feelings, Sagittarius, is, you know, um, look at it from their point of view. Look at the whole thing from their point of view. Really get out of your head and say, what if I were them and I didn't know all the things in my head and my, I didn't know my Sagittarius good intentions and everything and I was just them in this situation. How might I be feeling right now? I think you'll get some help by looking at it that way. And kind of what I just said too, could be Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune energy. This is in the position of the advice for the relationship as a whole here, Sagis. Um, I really like this here. This is your cards, Jupiter. I think it's saying things are going to go your way. And I think, you know, we got most, a lot of sad, you know, we got away with words, really. Um, and, you know, we can be charming, right? And that fire energy, that charming energy. And I think this Wheel of Fortune just means this is going to go your way. It's your card. There could even be some kind of outside happening how could this be uh with this um um maybe coincidentally another person in their life that's significant lets them down and it allows them to put it into perspective that you know not everybody's going to meet my expectations all the time or uh something surreptitious surreptitiously makes them um uh more open to your conversation with them you know, because they're in a very emotional mood here. Um, so there's a lot of openness that comes with all those cups. And then ultimately, it's the Page of Cups. You've got the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups here. And that Page of Cups is, is giving that cup right to your Queen of Swords, you know. So another thing that could be said here, Sag, i got to say it, okay. Um, I think if another, try to look at this from your person's point of view. And if you're cross-watching, leave a comment. And Sag, maybe share this with them. And see if this rings a bell. Did your person not maybe say with this four of cups when you acted basically immaturely towards them? I don't want a boy or a girl. I want a man or a woman. I don't. I'm not looking for a boy or a girl. I'm looking for a man or a woman. I think that is just coming across as something they said, and that's what you're going to have to get into and talk about. What I don't know exactly that was all about. You know, but, you know, look at what the page, your page of swords is looking at. She's not looking at your person. She's looking back at all of this crap that you're carrying. And that could be, you know, bad relationships, things going all the way back to childhood, crap that you're carrying. That's what your mind is on. And that's probably something about, like, what you're going to tell them. Thinking. And the Queen of Wands. So absolutely love this for an outcome. Very good. Um, so we have an excellent outcome. It is pr predicated upon you um, genuinely making um, amends in some way or assuaging them in some way um, after some initial um, feeling they have of um, uh, losing interest in you. Um, I think they were rebuffed. And I, I think their feeling to put it like in words would be a little bit like if you're a little kid and 
things aren't going well, you might uh, get upset with the little other little kids. So I'm going to take my baseball bat and it's my uh, a ball and I'm going to go home and you guys won't be able to play. So it's a little bit like that energy. And I think like maybe you could point out to them, you know, here's my thought. And it's like, even, that's a little immature, isn't it? And that's a kind of immature response on their part, you know. So in terms, because I think they're what they're going to, the rap is going to be what you do is immature. And what I like about this too, you come in with the Ten of Wands and you end up as a Queen of Wands. So I do think it's valid that they frankly, you know, relationships work like this all the time. Just how it works. You know, they're going to, whatever, they're going to help you deal with these burdens, you know. Maybe to your credit, you're a little uptight. Maybe you can kind of see the writing on the wall. It's like, it's only one way this is going to go. If we do the tighten up, they're going to help me with my burdens. And maybe you're a little uncomfortable with that. I would be. So, um, uh, but either way, I mean, this really works out. Look for Leo prominent in your composite relationship chart. Leo rising, Leo sun, sun, Leo sun in the fifth house. And please let me know in the uh, descriptions, uh, comments, if you have that in your composite. Give me a like, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend, and please do subscribe. Thank you guys.